In this video, we're going to take a look at the Outliner. The Outliner is another tool very similar to the Hypergraph that will show us the nodes that we have within our scene. To access the Outliner, we go to Window, Outliner. Here we can see the hidden cameras that I have in my scene file, as well as some default nodes that Maya needs. Let's create some nodes here and see how the Outliner updates. And I'm going to just go to my shelf, click the Sphere button there, and now I have P-Sphere 1 inside of my Outliner. Now, we will not get to see all of the lower connection or inputs of our nodes. That would get really confusing inside of the Outliner anyways. But we will get to see all of the parent-child relationships and any nodes that are visible in our scene. I'm going to create just a couple more objects here. We'll just throw some stuff out there using our shelf. Just pile that stuff up. And the first thing I want to do inside of my outliner here is do a parent-child relationship. We can middle mouse and drag and just drop onto another node. And again, very similar to our hypergraph setup, we do not need to have a node selected. So I'm middle mousing, and let's go down here. I'll middle mouse. Okay, and as soon as I start to drag, it kind of highlights. And then I can drop it onto another node to make it a child. Now I get a plus sign that I can then choose, and that will expand that hierarchy. So it shows me the parent, and then it will show me all of the children underneath it. And let's change this hierarchy just a little bit. We'll make that one. And notice now I get a plus. And let's take Pete Cone and make that a child of that one. There's another plus, and we'll just expand that. And I'm going to move this out in my viewport. We'll just slide that over, and let's collapse that. So in my perspective view, if I select that cone and then want to see where it sits in my outliner, I can see that it does highlight the parent, but it's not showing me the actual node inside of the outliner yet. What we can do, is right click and it's going to bring up a pop up window here, and we can choose Reveal Selected. And that will automatically expand that hierarchy out to expose the node that I currently have selected. So that's just a nice quick shortcut to get to those nodes and to expand the entire hierarchy. Now, maneuvering inside of the outliner is again just like our normal cameras. And let's populate it with a bunch of stuff here. I'm going to choose Control D just to duplicate this off of the outliner screen there. Okay, and now I have a bar here that I can go up and down to see my other objects. But if I hit Alt and middle mouse, I can then pan inside of my outliner. We can select multiple nodes inside of our outliner simply by left clicking and dragging. That will highlight all of those objects there. And then I can middle mouse and make all of those objects a child of something else. So again, I'm just left clicking and dragging, and that will highlight multiple objects. We can also click on a top node or even a bottom one and hold shift and select the entire group. To deselect any of those nodes that we have, we can hold control and left mouse click. Left click will select. Control will deselect. And let's expand these out here. And I'm just going to click on our little plus sign here just so that it makes it a little bit bigger. And just click into empty space there. Okay, so now I have this long list. And it can be somewhat tedious to kind of have to continually scroll back and forth through the outliner to try to find any of the objects that you're looking for. What the outliner gives us is down at the bottom here, it's actually collapsed down. If you left click and drag, you'll see that you get a second instance of your outliner view. They're essentially the same thing, but it allows us to see different locations. So if I could scroll this one all the way down at the bottom here, I can keep this one up at the top and be able to choose nodes at different locations a little bit quicker. So you can even bring this down and just kind of use this to highlight specific areas or a specific hierarchy of nodes that you're looking for. If you want to clean the outliner up a bit, we can take nodes and hide them. So we'll grab just a bunch of these here, and I'll right-click 
and choose Hide in Outliner and choose Hide. They're still available in my scene, I just can't see them inside of my outliner here. To bring them back, we can right click and choose Hide, Unhide. We can also check Ignore Hidden in Outliner to bring them back instantly without having to select them in our viewport. We can also choose to display the individual shape nodes in order to see a bit more. And that can get confusing. We'll have lots of nodes, lots of little plus signs here. So it can get the outliner to be a bit overpopulated. Let's turn that off. We can also isolate based upon a group or category. For instance, if I just want to see polygon objects, we can check that. Notice my cameras have now disappeared and all I see are polygon objects. You can tell that you're in this mode as well by this icon right here, and it will highlight that one arrow there is green, telling me that I have some sort of display constraint on. Now I can go back and check polygon objects to turn that off, or click that icon right there and it will expand and go back to its normal status of displaying everything.